Many Western traditions, it's, it's quite a, a solemn, um, uh, sacred. It's very okay. solemn, and sacred moment. More, more, more quiet. It like, has to be very civilized in the mm. sense that you have to kind of fill in fit in the whole atmosphere. Mm. And so you have to know when it is your time to, to talk. Right, so you might have noisy p periods of time at, mm. at a Western yeah, wedding. The reception part. Maybe, yeah, if there's dancing, yeah. you know, people might get a little more sort of happy well, and like a, it's like a party. But really, a Chinese wedding is noisy from start to finish. And the, you have your traditions, like something new, something old, something borrowed, borrowed something and something blue. blue, yes, that the bride should wear. I mean, yeah, yeah Do it's you have tradition. the same thing back in New France? Uh, not sure. I've never heard of that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're yet to be married. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. No, but I've, I've been to kind of, uh, I've been yeah. to my fair share of marriages, yeah. uh, weddings, uh, I haven't seen them. Okay. Not everyone. Yeah. Not but this is uh, about the difference in noise. It's also, I think it has to do something with the, the fact that the ceremony begins at the church in a lot of Western countries. Yep. So the whole religious atmosphere is something where... Keep people quiet. Exactly, you keep everyone quiet. I used to play uh, for my friends, you know, play mm. uh, cello piece uh, or piano piece, oh, you know. Cellist. Yes, and so, and so it, it, I've done that quite a few times mm. and, and also at funerals, but, but it's, it's all in the church. Mm. And in the church, you talk... You whisper. Yeah, you, know, you don't you, speak loudly. That's yeah, true. China is not true. really, you know, a very much religious country. No, exactly. And the weddings so, are basically the moment people enjoy themselves. True. And enjoy and, their time together. And weddings in China, t traditional weddings in China, do not follow a religious uh, practice or, mm. or aren't really influenced by religion so much as they might be influenced, say, by Confucius philosophy. Mm -hmm. You know, respecting mm. your elders, that kind of that's thing. True. So that's where you see the custom coming into Chinese weddings. Yeah. And, and apart from noise, one very important part in Chinese weddings, I'm going to get to that part, I'm telling you, uh, <laughs> is the, 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 I think everyone is having a really good time <laughs> giving uh, the newlyweds a hard time. Okay. You, before we move on, let's take a short break. Okay. We'll be right back. And welcome back to Crossover. Julia, don't get too excited. <laughs> Why? He's like <laughs> bursting to talk about bursting. this. <laughs> but it's a you funny have only thing. one more minute now. <laughs> okay, I'm going to tell you about it. It's, uh, no, it's, this is one thing we have to talk about because yeah. it's different. You don't have that in the West. Uh, no, Dongfang, it's, it's about... Uh, we have How do you translate? I mean, what is Dongfang? Dongfang is kind of the, the, the bridal room or okay, wait, 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 the bridal just, chamber. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What, what we're talking about now is what happens after the wedding. Exactly. Yeah. Reception, ceremony is over. So, yes. in other words, the night of okay. the wedding. So, it's, it's usually Should close... Should be their own night, yes. personal night. Yes. It's usually close friends. So, it's, it's going to be 20 to 30 people, not, not much, mm. not much more. And it can be in a hotel room. Uh, sometimes, a lot of the time, it's actually in their house. Mm -hmm. And the whole fun of it, this is another form of ceremony. They have a lot of games to kind of... Uh, the most traditional one is with what, the, the, the apple, apple, the apple hanging be. there, and they have to both, you know, to catch the right. apple. So, so, in other words, people, all the good friends of the bride and groom, or relatives, you know, young relatives, usually it's all younger people, yeah. mm -hmm. um, will go to the room or the house where the bride and groom will be staying that night yep. and give them a hard time basically and well, it's a hard... you call it a hard time but basically it's like the more like jokes and then make yeah. it more uh, I, I've, I've seen people making it really a hard really time. difficult well it's tough because there there are some gays there there are some games that imply uh, some form of sexual uh, it's not really sexual but it's going to come to some limits where, first of all, maybe they haven't played those kind of games, uh, and, and, and especially to do those kind of things in front of other people. Yeah, I mean, the bride's groom might feel a little bit embarrassed, and of that's course. exactly what they want to see. That they want, that's the what they want. <laughs> so we, uh, but there are reasons behind it. I mean, to make it noise, and this is the, the first night, and uh, according to the tradition, there might be a ghost somehow, a monster hiding somewhere, you know, especially for the new wear, newlyweds, and the friends out there making all the kind of noise just to scare away Which, you know, all I think the ghosts. Which is so cool, because in Western culture, mm. I can say pretty much all across the board in Western culture, the night of your wedding is, is so a personal. very personal Usually you're exhausted, mm -hmm. you know, but it's a very personal thing, and it, uh, no one would even think of having everyone of, <laughs> of yeah having that be sort of f 
like the ending of the day, the yeah, whole day. It's that like we finally get our first night together after night. Let's get everyone over. <laughs> those, those friends are saying we finally get our moment. It's exactly. real fun. <laughs> That's the whole fun of you know But being close friends. But did you do anything friends. bad? I, oh no, I'm always an observer. <laughs> okay. No, I'm a foreigner because that even was. That yeah. is even worse. Yeah. Encourage other people to do something like if that. If I had to invent the games, it would be worse. So I would be the no, I would be the target of everyone. I don't yeah, want to. But you know, when you do something, you've got to be very careful, and people would warn you. Hey, Julia, remember, you're still not married yet. <laughs> that yeah, means exactly. they have their own chances we, to fight back. Right, we will pay right. you back. If you give someday. someone too hard a time, yeah, the, then the, there is another reason. People are saying why people, uh, you know, in, especially in old times, the traditional weddings, they would have this make 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 the uh, the final. Hours, a hot time for the newlyweds. It's actually, you know, when you invent all these games, and many of them are, well, sexually related, and um, it's like a sex lesson or yeah, it's like it's something like, like that. Sexual education in a that's way. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Because Chinese people. And it's people, an icebreaker. That's right. Maybe to help people, you know, help the couple feel a little more relaxed. And a